Eureka! The story so far. As the molecules in a solid get hotter, they vibrate faster and faster until their mutual force of attraction is no longer strong enough to hold them together. This causes them to slip out of their latticework pattern, which therefore falls apart. When the latticework of molecules in a solid has collapsed, we say that the solid has melted. It has changed from a solid state into a liquid state. And now, evaporation and condensation. The trouble with goldfish bowls is that every few days, you have to remember to fill them up with water. Why? Where did all the water go? How did it just vanish like that? Well, why don't you fill the bowl up and dive in so that you can see for yourself what happens. Water is a liquid, so its molecules are moving too fast for their mutual forces of attraction to keep them together in a regular latticework. So they're slipping and sliding all over the place. Although the molecules are packed about as tightly together in a liquid as in a solid, in the liquid state, there is complete disorder and it's every molecule for itself. Some molecules end up being jostled about at the top of the liquid. They, in fact, form the surface of the liquid. Every now and then, this jostling forces an individual molecule to pop out of the liquid altogether, and it escapes into the air. Of course, over time, many millions of molecules escape from the liquid in this way. This continual popping out of molecules is rather like the movement that goes on in a popcorn machine. Only in the case of molecules, most of them stay up in the air and now fly about with complete freedom. No, of course, you can't see them now. One of these little lumps on its own is so tiny, you couldn't even see it with a microscope. You can only see molecules when billions of them are crammed together in the form of a solid or a liquid. You can see them when they make up the water in your goldfish bowl. But as soon as they escape into the air, they become invisible. But they're still there flying about. Only they don't form a liquid now. They form an invisible gas or vapor. That's why what happened to the water in your goldfish bowl is called evaporation. A change of state took place. The water changed from liquid to gas. It became water vapor. Water is continually evaporating. In fact, if you left your goldfish bowl out in the sun, the water would evaporate even faster. Because the warmer the water, the more rapidly the molecules jostle each other, and the more often they pop out into the air. So if you're tired of continually having to top up your goldfish bowl, one solution would be to make the water as cold as possible so that the molecules will move more slowly and therefore the water will evaporate more slowly. But now what's happened? Now you can't see your goldfish. How come? Well, as soon as the water vapor molecules in the air come in contact with the cold fish bowl, they become colder as well. And the colder molecules get, the slower they move. And the slower they move, the less they can resist their mutual forces of attraction. So they start to crowd together more and more tightly. In other words, the gas becomes a liquid again. The water changes back from its vapor state into its liquid state. And it's this water which collects all over the surface of your fishbowl. That's what clouds it up. Since the change from vapor to liquid is caused by the arrangement of molecules becoming more and more dense, this change of state from vapor or gas to liquid is called condensation. So when water isn't evaporating, water vapor is condensing. You can't win with goldfish bowls. <laughs> Have you ever thought of keeping a cat?